Okay, so today we're going to be installing cabinets. Each of our cabinets uh, comes in a box just like this. They just stack the boxes on a pallet and I drove about an hour and a half to go pick them up and brought them here. Um, so the first thing we're going to have to do to install the cabinets is obviously build them. So I'm going to start with building all the boxes so I can get all the boxes to my cabinets built and lined up and I can start positioning them into place. So uh, we'll just get started and start off with building these boxes. So the first thing I'm going to do in assembling these cabinets is I'm going to take the back panel. This is only a 9 inch cabinet so the back panel is only 9 inches wide. And I'm going to attach the uh, clips that will hold on all the other panels. And the way I, I'm you know, attaching these clips that come with little screws is I'll go ahead and just kind of set them in place with a hand-held screwdriver because it's very important that these screws line up in their correct location. And there are some small little holes here that um, tell me where I need to put the screws, but I'll just go ahead and kind of put the screws in by hand slightly, and then um, I'll come back and zip them in. Uh, so I don't have to sit here and screw these in all day long, but at least by kind of setting them by hand at first, I'm getting them positioned in the correct position. Now, the, the next step is we're going to go ahead and install the sides of our box. Um, and these sides have the other part of the clips that we just screwed in place. So we're just going to line those up and then slide it in place. found to be helpful is to turn it in at an angle, try and knock it in. The cabinet's now locked in place. We're going to take the bottom of our cabinet base and just slide it right in. Now the toe kick is also held on by clip, clips, so we're just going to take our clips, the buckle in there, and we'll go ahead and pre-mount these. Still going to barely set these before I screw them all the way in. Um, I just need to make sure. that I have them all in the right location. Otherwise, it just won't clip in correctly. And then we just take this and the notch fits up inside there. Be a lot easier to make sure you have those lined up correctly before you try and clip it in place. So our toe kick is in. So the top here just has the same type of clips and uh, it's going to really open either way. The range is going to be on the left hand side so I think I'd rather this open kind of to the right away from the range do I want it to open towards it? I'm going to put it towards the range. We could always change this around if we absolutely have to. So we're going to try and line these up just like we did on everything else and clip it down in place. The last thing you need to do on these cabinets is install these corner braces. They just kind of fit in there and um, go ahead and put a screw in to 
pull it in place, but these will help stabilize the entire structure of the cabinet. So these are very important little pieces of plastic. They just simply screw in place in each corner and they'll help make this whole structure a lot stronger. There you have it. There's our nine inch box and it is all put together and ready to go. The only thing we don't have in there right now are the shelves, but we don't want to put the shelves in until after we have these properly installed.